Hi, my name is Donnie Luckett, and you're here with Cultures TV, your global diversity resource. We're here today with Carl Olson, who's a native of Nairoc, Colorado. Uh, he has mixed parentage from two different cultures, and that's the focus of the conversation today. Uh, Carl is what I call a TCK. I, I presented that to him when I first met him, and he's kind of like, what are you talking about? So we'll chat a little bit about that today and how he grew up and how it changed his worldview. So Carl, how are you? I'm all right. Good, Good glad to have you here. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me about Naiwa and, and your parentage and uh, how you grew up in Naiwa and what it was like for you. Okay, um, so I identify as mixed race. Um, I identify as Japanese and white. Uh, my mother is born in, or was born and was raised in Japan um, and only moved to the United States when she married my dad uh, about 31 years ago. Uh, my dad's a white dude from Illinois and um, I guess one of the questions I always get asked is was he in the military? Um, and he wasn't, so that was, that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> yeah, or something. It breaks the norm. Um, so, and you know, I also get the question, how did your parents meet? Um, because it's across the Pacific, which is a pretty big body of water. And what happened was my mom was visiting the US, one of her friends at a university, and my dad was stationed in Japan because he worked for IBM. And he was like home to visit family or whatever. And they're on the same flight to Japan. Um, and I remember when my dad told me the story, he's like, oh, it was so romantic. It was love at first sight. And <laughs> my mom's like, no, are you <laughs> kidding me? And she's told a story about how she was like, what the hell is this guy doing here in coach class in a business suit, drinking peanuts out of the bag, um, like a gross American <laughs> was kind of her language. And my dad was like, basically after, you know, I was old enough, he's like, oh, I just, hit on your mom, um, asked her to be my tour guide in Japan and all that kind of stuff. So luckily for me, um, my dad ended up earning her respect somehow. Um, but, you know, the reasons that he gave were she really liked rugby. My dad played rugby. Um, and he started to fall in love when she started naming like Japanese rugby players. Um, and then they went to the bars and she drunk my dad under the table. He's like, you're the first woman to do that and we're gonna get married. It was kind of the, <laughs> the narrative there. Um, and my dad, my mom told me that my dad was the first man that she ever really respected because he was himself so much. And so um, that's kind of the thing that happened there. Lucky for me and my brother. Um, and so I was born in Danbury, Connecticut. Um, and I was raised in Niwa, Colorado which is a very white, upper class area. Um, and one of the predominant questions that I got growing up was, what are you? Um, it wasn't even like, <laughs> where are you from necessarily, but it was a lot of what are you, and it was a lot from strangers and friends alike. Um, and so I think, I don't know really how I knew the answer um, I think just observationally, I stood out, um, and I just kind of knew intuitively that they were asking about my race. And so it was mm. easy for me to say, oh, you know, I'm Japanese, and they're like, oh, you know, they figured out, I was like some sort of puzzle piece, they figured out what kind of brown like I, I see was. something, like, <laughs> but I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, yeah. and so, and I was lucky though, because uh, I had the privilege of flying to Japan every summer as a kid, because my mother missed family all the time, um, and so, some of the, so I've done some research with mixed students at CSU in particular, and they talk about how there's an emptiness in their cultural soul if they didn't get some of the culture yeah. from one of their parents' homeland. That's and so I was really lucky to get like fulfilled in that sense. I grew up bilingual, um, visited Japan a bunch, so I knew where I came from. And we're gonna go more into that in just a second. I'm gonna go away, and when we come back, we'll talk to Carl a little bit more about the culture as part of his identity.